don't be scared of the change. Scared to be the new kid. So the Righteous Brothers is a band that has been suggested to me probably over a million times. A lot of you guys have been waiting for me to get into them, so today's the day, guys. Let's go ahead and get into the Righteous Brothers Unchained Melody for the first time. Ladies and gentlemen, the Righteous Brothers. You know, I know you've been asked this uh, maybe a thousand times, but I've got to ask it. How did you get the name Righteous Brothers? Well, in the beginning, when we started singing together, we thought of using the combination of Hatfield and Medley. And oh, that's uh, the two names. Hatfield, that's Medley, the skinny yeah. one. And, uh, <laughs> and all we came up with, well, we had the Hatleys and the Medfields, and that uh, didn't. And Bob and Bill really didn't knock a lot of people out. <laughs> <laughs> So we worked in a club down south, and uh, after our first show, some guy stood up and yelled out, That's righteous, brother. And we've been known as that ever since. Hey, well, that's wonderful. <laughs> you know, my brothers and I, when we first started singing together, we needed a name, and a fellow in the audience yelled out at us, <clears throat> but we couldn't use it. <laughs> I mean, the Get Lost Brothers? <laughs> Why not? Oh, you know what? I was going to say, why don't you do something else, uh, another song, but the one I really would like to hear you do is um, Unchained Melody. Great song. Why don't you do it? I'd do that one by myself, you know. How come? <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be a hit. <laughs> what do you usually do when he's singing? Find a little corner and uh, kick myself a lot. <laughs> Come on, I'll show you the corner I use whenever I hear Tony Bennett sing San Francisco. <laughs> thankful that YouTube exists because kind of like opening up a time capsule. I get the chance in 2024 to listen to a song that was released in 1965 live and I think about how they do not have near as many technologies that we do today to make music perfect and this man's voice though sounds like it is the most perfect edited quality you've ever heard but I know he doesn't have like a bunch of filters and stuff on him. It is just mesmerizing how elegant it sounds. It doesn't have a single crack. It doesn't have a single error. How is this man doing that? It is so beautiful.
falsetto come from? He was sitting there so casually, so beautiful, and then at the end, he went up like 10 octaves. What is up with that? I wasn't ready for that at all. And you know what this song made me realize, too? People talk about romanticizing certain periods of time, and I know there was a lot of music with the same appeal during the 1950s and 60s, and I could see why you could romanticize those eras, because when you have music this beautiful, this pure, and this genuine, how couldn't you want to sit there and not think about, man, I wish I could exist back then. Things seem real. I just really enjoyed being exposed to this piece of history. So guys, let me know down in the comments, what are some other timeless acts that I should check out? Let me know down below. And in the meantime, check out another one of my reactions. They should be popping up any moment. Thank you again for watching, y'all, and have a great day, guys.